Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing this absolutely teeny weeny little bird. Now this is from um, Enchanted Forest, the mini Enchanted Forest. Look how small he is, this is my fingers. I, did, I wasn't going to do him at all on a video, but I thought it would be a really nice opportunity to just show you ways that you could do something this small. Now I am going to do a mixed media video, which is not what I normally do, and I'm going to do some pen and some pencil because I don't think I can get pencil in some of these little teeny spaces. So I'm going to be using my fine liners for some of the details. So I've got this orangey yellow fine liner. This is um, Stedler Triplus. I know some people can find the numbers on the bottom. There's something written there. F6, I think it is. Might be an eight. Anyway, I'm going to use that for the key. I'm going to do that first. It's very, very tiny. But I thought I would just do it first. Now, I have had been tempted to use a gold gel pen, but I don't think my gold gel pen um, would fit in that space, to be honest. And we also have very little teeny weeny legs which I'm going to do in a grey. I don't have a great deal of um, variation in gel pen, in like fine liners, I mean. Oh, that says F6. Maybe the other one was F8. Anyway, I wonder if F is for fine liner. No idea. I'm going to do the feet in this. It's quite dark. I would have preferred a lighter grey. But that's the only one I have. And now, that page keeps moving. It's very annoying. I'm sorry. We're going to do the bird. He's going to be done in pencil. I'm going to use my um, fine liners. No, I'm not. I'm telling complete lies. I'm going to use my Arteza premium pencils. Um, the reason I said that was because I wasn't thinking. I'm trying to decide what colour to do him while I'm talking to you. Um, I think I'm going to do him brown. It's a bit boring, but birds are brown. Let's do him brown. This is the um, camel brown. From my set. It's one of my lightest browns and I'm going to start by doing him in this colour all over. I'm treating the whole thing as one object at the moment because it's going to be much easier to get colour on like this. And then I'm going to put some, do some areas which are a little bit darker. So I'm just trying to get an even colour. I haven't decided what colour to do his beak yet. I might do it black. But we'll see. So that's my brown. And now I'm going to go in with a darker brown. I'm just having a look at what I've got. I quite fancy this one. This is the, um, sorry, dark chocolate brown. It's quite a dark brown. And I'm going to add in some highlights or shadows, probably, not highlights. So the feathers here, I'm going to put a little bit at the top where they um, where they're overlapped. I'm going to add in a little bit of darker colour here. And the same here. It's quite difficult to put in just a small amount of colour in such a little space. A bit here. And try and fade it towards the end which is where again I'm struggling a little bit for space to do that and I'm thinking maybe a little bit under the wing just the smallest bit and then maybe on the edge of the tongue and then blend it in a little bit uh, under here and maybe just there where those dots are let's have a look, there he is Hmm, I'm going to have to do a little bit more on the tongue because I think that pale area looks a little bit odd. I'm just going to go over it a bit more. And now his beak. I'm going to use this dark colour for his beak because I think if I do it black we won't see the difference between the top and bottom so much because it would obscure the black line. I've tried to do the bottom of the beak darker than the top. It's very hard to do. So I'm going to, the last thing I'm going to do is this shape on the wing. I'm going to do it darker here 
and then fade it towards the centre and then darker from this end and fade towards the centre. So we've got a little bit of interest. And that's it. Just a very small bird but there's a little way that you can tackle it. If you can't cope with more than one shade just do it one shade or um, do a light fine liner and then cover some areas with a darker one on top that, or several layers can help but you do need to watch for a bleed through with your fine liners so do a test page first. What I tend to do is I turn to the test page at the back of the book and I do one layer of fine liner in a little circle and then I do two and three and four and I start to check until I get bleed through so I know how many layers I can do to get away with it before it starts to bleed through the page and that helps me to still determine how I'm going to use them in the book. But anyway, our little bird is done, so I am going to go. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped you a little bit, and happy colouring! <laughs>